coming to you with a tutorial on Adobe Photoshop CC and how to place text within a shape. First thing we're going to do, of course, is you need to open a document. Mine is 600 by 600. You may use any size that you choose, but for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to use this size. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to click on the custom shape tool which is this little star thing right here. You're gonna click on that and go up here and you'll see that it's set to shape. Well, we want it to be set to path, so we're going to have to change that. So you're going to hit path and then you're going to choose your shape. Now you have several different options in here that you can choose to uh, set your, t uh, fill your text with but I have chosen a heart and I'm going to stick with that. So you're going to draw, not draw, you're going to make your heart. And of course you can press the shift button if you need to, to constrain the heart. But I think that's pretty nice. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to click your text button and you're going to click inside of the heart and you're just going to start typing. And I'm going to do something a little ad lib, just about love. Now, as I said, you can always move your um, indicators up. You can move them down. You can push it in a little bit and just work with those to get it perfect. And once you're done and you're happy with what you see on the screen and you're ready to commit it, uh, oh darn it, I forgot something really important. Uh, when you're at the text, when you've clicked on your text, just make sure that your center text is chosen. That's how you want your text to be uh, inside of your shape. You want to make sure that you center it. So I'm going to commit because I think it looks pretty good. So I'm going to click that check mark. And one more thing guys, one more thing. Um, the smaller the type, the better it will look. I used a 12 point just for the purpose of this video again and for the purpose of time just to show you what you can do with it. So I'm going to commit it. So I've committed it. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to want to get rid of this heart shape and let the text be the heart. So I'm going to see what I've done by clicking on the background. Yeah, and that looks pretty good. Um, again, if you want more defined, a more defined shape, you want to use smaller text and that will do it for you. So that's it for me. That's, um, and this can be done with any shape that you like. Okay guys, until next time, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the bell button to make sure that you're getting all of my videos. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.